Yes, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As we kick off season two, we've got to do what we can do to stay healthy, obviously. Okay. Sitting next to me <laughs> is our resident doctor, Dr. Dave. And today yeah. he's here with health tips we can use as the transition of the season is upon us. It is upon us, whether welcome you like Dr. it or Dave. not. Thank you. Well, yes. so season two, congratulations. Yes. 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 If I have never told you I love y'all, I love who you are for your viewers and what yes. you do for them every day. You make it look easy. You don't know how many people out there you're changing those lives. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations. Oh, Keep doing what, what you're doing. Today. Absolutely. That's a doctor's doctor. orders. Yeah. <laughs> Do doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. <laughs> now, enough of that sappy right. stuff. Right. So, my time. As the weather. We're claiming my time. You're claiming my time. <laughs> yes. Deborah, I'm oh, my time. Right, right. Okay. All right. So, Good. as the Fine. weather changes, what are some of the things that we need to do? Yeah. Even though it's still hot, <laughs> yeah. the seasons are changing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the seasons yeah. are changing. You're actually starting to see the the, the day cut shorter and yes. shorter. Whether yes. you like it or not, it's going to happen. It happens this time every year. Mm -hmm. One of the things everybody should be thinking about is vitamin D. Yep. Mm. We've talked about vitamin D here before, <laughs> and not that vitamin D. Oh my God. <laughs> Coming off the on the run tour, we're not talking about that one, because I am heterosexual. I swear to God, this circle is a square. <laughs> we're not talking about that one. Um, oh, vitamin D is a, is a real thing. She didn't think I was going to get that. Okay, fine. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. We're talking about the real vitamin D. So vitamin D, really important. Remember, we get vitamin D from sunlight on our skin. Darker complexion people have, on average, less vitamin D. Oh, no. Really? Absolutely. Less vitamin D. Well, because it's on the skin. You've got melanin on the skin. And in the colder months, I'll put it on top of that. On the colder months, you have less sunlight. Oh, no, we no. also get all stylish in the fall and the winter. We cover up our skin more. Mm -hmm. So you've got kind of a triple whammy there. We've got to be really uh, uh, um, focused on getting our vitamin Ds because vitamin D is important for every single function in Shall your body, yeah. especially your immune system. Hello, somebody. So mm -hmm. around the time when you get, you know, infections and colds and flus, mm -hmm. you need to have your vitamin D level adequate or increase it. Now, so how do you do that? You go and find out with your doctor. That's how how much do you, um, do you think that a per like the average person should take because I know in the bottle that's not is you know it's say 400 IU but I know it's probably a little bit more than that actually cuz I take 5000 yeah you take 5000 5, so and so and hopefully you know what your level was before you started 5000 yes, yes. Um, because there is a danger in what we call hypervitaminosis yeah. d that Isn't means it? too much yeah vitamin D. The only way for me to be able to tell you how much you need is to go get it checked. Yeah. So people need to get checked. You yes. absolutely have to okay. get it checked. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, speaking of vitamin D and immunity, yeah. um, let's talk about sleep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, sleep patterns. Yeah. As it gets darker quicker, people want to go to sleep sooner. Yeah. I know I'm one of them. I'm yeah. sleeping right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping right now. Doctor. Um, but how how do we maintain a proper sleep schedule? And I have to tell you, lately I have been like sweating in my sleep, mm -hmm. which yeah. is crazy. You know, so two really big points. You hit on a point that was really important. The days get shorter. Your circadian rhythm inside your central nervous system uh -huh. actually shifts a little bit. It needs to know when it's daytime and when it's nighttime. The problem is you get less daytime. Right. Um, and if you do that, Right, then your body can go into stress mode. When you're up and you're stressed, what mm -hmm. do you do when you you don't you know, you, you eat? So you gain weight, mm -hmm. blood pressure goes up, right? You, right. When you're up and it's and it's one o'clock at night, you don't go for sliced tomatoes, right? right. right. What are you going for? You're going Some for the calorie dense right. stuff. So you're gaining right. weight, along with you know having problems with your blood pressure and all these other things. Uh -huh. How do we ask people to do it, especially in the fall? We say. Get some sunlight on your face when you wake up. Pull the shades back, pull the curtains back, get the sunlight on your face. Let the circadian rhythm know, hey, now it's daytime, although it's a little bit later, right? And then when it's time to go to sleep, get the screen off your face. Why? Mm, because your central light. nervous system can't tell the difference between the sun and the iPad. Wow. Right? Somebody I know really well sitting in the bed. Uh oh. You know, <laughs> and wonder why you don't have right. good. Sleep. So right. what if you wake up in the morning, like if you wake up early because you have to go to work and it's still dark outside though. Yes. Yeah. So, so you still need to tell your brain when it's light. So as soon as you can, get outside. Right. This is the time we talked about before. Get yourself outside. 
Get not just for vitamin D, mm -hmm. but for your so, circadian rhythm wow. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a yeah. couple more steps. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. a few more things that I, I just want to touch on. Yeah. What do you do when you can't get any sleep? Like if you are having some challenges with getting sleep, like right now, I will probably go to sleep at like 11 and then I wake up again at 3 and then I'm up until like it's time to come to work. Well, somehow you're what wearing this well. Nobody can yeah. tell <laughs> that, <laughs> that you are essentially <laughs> sleep deprived. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. Exactly so, what it is. So, you know, I, I would say, you know, in a word, I would want you to sit with somebody who really understands sleep okay. um, because there's many different reasons why we don't sleep, right? Okay. And if you're okay. falling asleep okay because you go to bed on time, right? Yeah. And you take power down, all that stuff, but you're waking up, maybe there's something going on with your sleep pattern mm -hmm. and I would see somebody for it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, well, go ahead. I want to talk a little bit about exercising in it. the winter yeah. time. Yeah. I know, that. I know. It yeah. sounds well, trite. Well, it's so we're important. We're going to keep them over, but go ahead and get your question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we, I'm going to stay. Oh. Yes, you are. Stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. In the winter time, like, okay, during the summer months, it's like I go out to, to work out three times a week at least. It's on the low end. Okay. Now, when the time comes, I'm like, oh, it's so cold out there. Oh, right. my God, I feel right. so good. Because you prefer to do it outside. What do I need to do, Dr. Day? To Who's got the answer to that? Who's got the answer to her? I'm not going to get up and go to the gym. Yeah. Go yes. into the gym. <laughs> Go, go into the gym. the gym. Let's not make it seem like this is some really complicated thing. There, <laughs> there are people, there are people who don't like to go in the gym, and I'm okay with that. But when it is inclement outside, you can't stop just because the seasons are going to change. Yes. Come on, Quad. There's, there's almost no. any. There's, there's not too many. In my house, it is. It is. <laughs> and it is. I don't any any gym that you're going to pay a membership to. It had better be no, no, enough right. for you to be in there. That is true. So, we want you yeah. to stick around I'd love so we can to. get to Trina's point, and then we'll have a little bit of what the people say. Obviously, he's what the people say. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Dave, when we return. <laughs> but it's so hard for me. I'm at my sister circle. Dr. Dave is still here, and Miss Trina has a question for you. Miss yes. Trina? Yes. You know, I've heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yeah. I'm not a big breakfast eater. Yeah. So, what can people like me do to sustain a healthy lifestyle? when we disinclude breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so breakfast doesn't have to be a big to do. Mm -hmm. There are some really good, you know, sort of fall season things that you can do with breakfast and, and for other meals. Pomegranate is one of the big ones. I love um, so a lot of people love pomegranate. It's time for pomegranate. So pomegranate good. actually has more antioxidants than wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, really? So and you can take it in the morning, right? Or have some pomegranate. And now get fired from your job. <laughs> 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 I didn't have a breath of breath in the body. No. But other things, you know, you know, gra grapefruit, you know, grapefruit is everybody knows vitamin C for you know for my guys out there watching. It's also high in, in lycopene. You cut open a uh, grapefruit, get your um, you know health uh, testosterone boosting mm -hmm. lycopene and prostate health uh, uh, lycopene. But then there's other foods that we really should be thinking about in the fall. Cauliflower has got mm -hmm. a lot of good cancer. Fighting properties, Ooh, um, rice. your squash and all that stuff. Yes. Bring squash. It's got omega three. So my oh, plant based yeah. people uh, get some squash for your omega three fatty. Love it. Yeah. 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 Really quickly, what is your take on like as soon as you get sick, people just going to get an antibiotic? Yes, yes. or no? Yeah, it, absolutely not. It's killing you, and you don't know it. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching Sister Circle Live.